Hello everyone and welcome to the Dream Conduit. This is our second video in a series on how to create NFTs from your own smart contract using Manifold. In this video, I'll show you how to create NFTs, how to edit them, and the different features available in Manifold after you've created a smart contract. If you haven't created a smart contract yet, just check out our first video in this series. It'll catch you right up. But let's get started. So we're going to start off on the Manifold website, linked in the description again. And we're going to go to the studio login button on the bottom right here. From there, we'll connect our wallet if we haven't already. And once we do, we'll see all of our contracts listed here. We're gonna select a smart contract to release our NFTs from. Remember, NFTs are released from smart contracts. And this is a page that shows all the smart contracts we've created already. So we'll just go ahead and select one. From here, we'll see some information about our smart contract. This one is on Gwirly, which is the test network from before. And to create a token, we're going to go to this tokens tab on the top here. Once we do, we'll see that tokens have not been created yet. This is a blank screen and we have a create button available to us. Once we click the create button, we'll see that there are a few options available here. So single token is when you just want to mint one token into your collection. You can choose to mint a batch of tokens and just create them with one transaction, which saves on gas. And you can create an addition, which is having one piece of artwork of which there are multiple copies of. So we're just going to go for the single token feature and then all of these work the same. The final version is a claim page where people can claim their NFTs and you don't have to pay the transaction fees to create them. But we're just going to select the single token option for now and see how that works. So on this screen, we'll see some information that we can start to populate to associate with our NFT. First, there's a box here that we can drag and drop our files into. And I have a file here on my desktop that's handy, so I'll just drag and drop it in here. Next, we can associate a title. I'll just give it something simple for now. And this is going to be the title for our NFT. Uh, we can associate a link, and this link will be uh, something that people can find when they look at the NFT on any marketplace or anywhere that they find it. And then we can give our NFT a description here. I'll just give it something simple. And then the other important thing to talk about are properties. Properties are categories of information and you can use them to associate different pieces of information with the different pieces in your collection. So for example, I have three properties here that I've already created. The first one is artist. This is likely to be the same for all of the pieces in my collection, unless I do a collaboration with someone. There is another one for year created, and so the year created is going to vary based on when I created the NFT. And finally, there is a purpose, and so I can associate a purpose with the NFT that I'm creating. I could associate different kinds of data, um, different attributes, um, different pieces of information as properties. And this can enable people to filter the pieces in a collection and be able to see the properties that they're most interested in. So after I've associated all my properties and populated all the information for my token, I have two options. I can either mint to Gwirly or I can mint to Mainnet. Uh, as discussed in the previous video, mint to Gwirly is minting to a test network and just seeing how a token looks before minting it to the main Ethereum blockchain. And then this is the alternative. You can choose either one of these. I'm going to mint to Gwirly first, and I'll just choose the recipient as myself. If I wanted to send it to someone else directly, I could choose the airdrop option and it will just be sent directly to their wallet. In this case, I'm going to choose myself and it's going to mint it to my address. And I'm just going to confirm. A MetaMask pop-up will appear. I'll switch to the Gwirly test network and then I'll have to confirm a MetaMask transaction. It's gonna go ahead and mint that token and then we'll see how that looks. All right, so our token has been minted uh, on Gwirly, which is the test network. And so now we have a few options available to us. We can see what it looks like on OpenSea. It's a test version of OpenSea, but we can see what the NFT would look like even if it was on the Ethereum main network. We, are, we can see our title, the image associated, and the properties that we assigned. Uh, but back over to the Manifold section, we can start to 
do some cool things with our NFT. So let's go to the dashboard and see what options are available to us. So let's say that we minted a bunch of NFTs and we gave them to people and then we wanted to do a reveal or we sold a bunch of NFTs and we wanted to reveal them afterwards. What if we wanted to change some of the things in our NFT, update the artwork for any type of reason? Uh, well, this is how we could do that. With an NFT that's been created, we can just tap into it and we can start to make some changes. So we can change the image that's associated. We can change the title. Um, I'll just change the title and keep it simple for now. So when you've changed all the things that you want to update, you can just select the update on Gorly option for me, but it could be the update on mainnet option in your case. So I'll just select update on Gorly. It'll just ask me to confirm. And that's all that it takes. So I can go and see what it looks like on OpenSea now. And I can see the title has already been updated. So this is how I can change the uh, information associated with my NFT if I wanted to do a reveal afterwards or anything else. One more thing to mention is you can assign royalties for your collection. Royalties are like a percentage of sales that you as a creator get every time somebody sells an NFT that came from your collection. So you can define that rate here. That's what's called the royalty rate. You set the address that's going to receive it. So I can just put my address in here, for example, and you can set the royalty rate, whether it be 5% or whatever else. And you can just save royalties and confirm the MetaMask transaction that it asks you to confirm. One thing to note though, is that you'll have to do this separately on OpenSea. Uh, you'll have to configure the collection once you have a token created and update the royalties on OpenSea again. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But you've now created a token. After creating a smart contract, you set the royalty rate and you're ready to create as many tokens as you like. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video on how to create NFTs from your own smart contract. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us in the Dream Conduit Discord or post your questions in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.